Hi guys, Emily and Nat from Live Well Health Centre here. So today we're going to be talking about nerve flossing for the lower limb. I'll have Nat, Nat demonstrating the exercises for us. So nerve flossing um, for the lower limb is really good to just stretch those nerves um, and increase that range of motion. So I guess some conditions that cause a bit of nerve pain include um, having a lumbar disc pathology with referral down the leg. Um, otherwise you can get conditions like piriformis syndrome, um, even sciatica symptoms, um, or a femoral nerve entrapment, I guess more towards the front of the leg. So today I guess we'll just be going through those, um, those exercises and stretches um, with Nat demonstrating. So for the first two exercises or stretches, we'll be um, stretching through that sciatic nerve out the back. So for the first one, Nat, what we're going to do is we're going to lay down on, um, on the bed on our back with our knees flexed. Alright. So with the, um, with the affected leg, you're going to grasp down the back of the, the thigh there. So you can either have the unaffected leg bent or extended, whatever is your preference. So with Nat here, all she's going to do is she's just going to extend up through that knee. So you might feel a nice stretching through that sciatic nerve down the back of there. Uh, and then she can floss by gently bringing her toes towards her head and back down. So the more of a stretch it's going to be when the toes are facing towards Nat's head. Um, and then I guess the stretch is a bit off when she's pointing her toes. So you can do this about um, five to ten times, um, having a break and then doing it again. Just working within your, your limits of that stretch because we, we don't want it to be too painful, okay? So the next one we've got is um, in a bit of a slumping posture. So Nat's going to sit up for us and she's going to um, slump forward. So the first thing Nat's going to do is just extend through her knee. She's going to point her toes up towards her head and then she's going to look up at the ceiling. So from here, the next position is Nat's going to point her toes down, flex her knee and then flex her, her neck. So the next time she's going to do all this motion at one time. So looking up and bringing the foot up and then looking down and bringing the foot down. So that's a nice nerve uh, floss for that sciatic nerve at the back of the leg as well. So you can do this five to 10 times as well, having a bit of a break and then doing that one again. How do you feel there, Nat? Feeling up. Good, <laughs> beautiful. All right, so the last one is for that femoral nerve, so at the front of that thigh there. So we're gonna have Nat on laying on the stomach for this one. So she's going to uh, bend her knee. So I guess getting her heel to her bum um, and then to, I guess, increase that nerve stretch, she's going to point her toes up to the ceiling and then to release, she's going to point them more down towards the, the floor here. So increasing that nerve stretch will be having the toes more to the ceiling and then decreasing that stretch will be down to the couch. So yeah, and again, Nat can do this five to 10 times, having a break and then doing it again. I guess what we're really looking for with the nerve flossing, we don't want it to be too painful. So working more of a stretch rather than pain. If it is getting too painful, we don't want you to keep continuing it. Another thing is we wanna just make sure that we're breathing through the exercises and just trying to get that stretch of that nerve and not engaging your muscles as much, okay? If you are um, experiencing too much pain, do stop. Um, let us know if you have any questions at all with any of the movements here at Live Well Health Centre. We're more than happy to help answer any of your questions. All right, thanks guys. See you. Bye.